Today we're going to be working on this Whirlpool. Well, it's a roper made by Whirlpool, but it's the same exact as a Whirlpool washer. This Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. The complaint that we have with this model is that it's not spinning. Now we put it on the spin cycle. We're going to go ahead and press the lid switch and as you can see it's trying to spin but it's not spinning and if I put my hand on it it stops so when the spin cycle is good you cannot even put your hand on it because it will burn your fingers and it will start spinning right away so you know that it had a hard time try to spin we're gonna remove that dust cap that you just saw there and the uh, softener cap and now we're going to look for the right socket for um, to remove this screw that is holding the agitator. Now, this is a clear indication that we probably have a clutch problem. I believe this is a half inch socket or 11 millimeter socket, if I remember correctly. We will remove the agitator out of the way. And we will remove these two pieces that goes um, on the shaft. There's like a plastic piece and a metal kind of sort of clamp. Now we're going to tilt the washer and we're going to go ahead and work um, underneath of the washer. Again, in this video, we're going to show you how to replace the clutch if your washer is not spinning however your washer cannot be spinning if you have a coupling problem but it will be making a big loud rattling sound i'm gonna leave you some footage from another repair that i did previously in case you run into a coupling problem if it's making a rattling sound you can do this repair in two different ways. You can remove the cabinet, as you see in that little footage on the top left. Or you can do it with the cabinet on, as you see how I'm going to do it in this video. If you want to remove the cabinet to work more freely and work more comfortable, go ahead and watch the video that I'm showing you in the corner. There's an arrow that you can click the card, or you can look at the description of this video and I will show you how to remove the cabinet in that other video that is going to be in the link on the description of this video. Now I'm removing the clamps they are holding the water pump. Again, I decided to do this with the cabinet on because I wanted to do it more um, quick, but the right way is removing the cabinet. So I removed the two clamps from the water pump and I'm just going to go ahead and move the pump out of the way. Remove the clamps. And remove the pump to the side. Now, again, in that other video, I'll show you how to remove the pump, the motor to be able to remove the transmission, but in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the transmission with the motor on. I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect the harness wire for, for the motor. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove the um, three screws that holds the transmission in place. Again, I believe this is a 11 millimeter socket. So you can use a ratchet to remove these three screws. In some part of the video, I just forward it the way um, I fast forward it the way the video is not boring. And that way I make the video shorter for you guys. Now I get the three screws loose and I'm going to go ahead and start um, removing the screws one by one. I believe this is the second screw that I'm removing. Yep.
no that was the last one i'm sorry so once you remove those three screws you need to remove the wire from uh, from a little clamp that is attached to the transmission as you see right there i cannot see it but later on in this this footage i'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove that because the transmission is not coming out because the wire is still attached to the transmission now i just realized that i have to lean the washer a little bit more by the way it's best when you lean the washer all the way to the floor you got to disconnect the washing machine from the floor i mean you got to disconnect the water hoses from the wall and lean the washer to her uh, back position that way you work more freely again i was trying to do this repair fast because the homeowner needed to go somewhere so i leave the water hoses connected but my suggestion would be disconnected here's the wire it's in a clamp right there just move the wire out of the way now remove the transmission with the whole motor on it and now we're going to begin to replace the clutch because this is the reason why it's not spinning we remove the washer right there and now we're going to remove a clamp that is holding this clutch in place just grab a flathead screwdriver and pop it out as you see in the video and the same way with a screwdriver you're gonna have to put it back on but i'm gonna show you that a little uh, later on in this video as you see right there i go to the part of the clamp and pop it out sometimes these pieces fly away guys so you need to be careful and make sure you find them after they fly away remove the old um clutch remember guys you can find this part in the description of this video if you guys want to order it it will be a link there that you can click and you can order it right away so we're going to go ahead and install the new um clutch in place it has some slacks there where it's got to be pushed down. And we're going to go ahead and put the clamp that holds the actual um, clutch in place. Just go around to the end of the clamp. Sometimes you might have to try it a couple times and hold the other part in place. And with the screwdriver, just push it in until it goes in his place. now we're going to go ahead and put this secure washer there again it has its way it's a male to female connection right there and this last piece which is a washer that goes on top of it now we're going to go ahead and remove the this piece this white piece that it comes in a kit with the um new clutch and we remove the washer that is holding this white piece in place it goes on the brakes now that piece came loose but most of the time it will not come loose especially if you have the washer leaning to his back now this metal piece again most of the time it just stays in place but if it comes loose for you yes look at this video and you will be able to put it back in place now we're going to go ahead and put the new um brake clutch assembly and we're going to put the washer that holds it in place just grab like a needle nose and put it on that slack right there so you see in the video just try to be careful guys go ahead and use gloves when you do this repair because the washer machine got sharp edges so just to be on the safe side and you don't cut yourself now we're going to go ahead and begin to put the transmission back in the washer including the motor Once you got it in place, just, you know, look for the right position. Move the pump out of the way. 
and go ahead and align the transmission with the three um, screws attachment. In this case, when I was removing the um, transmission, the brake has moved. So if this happens to you, go ahead and press the white piece that you're gonna see me right now in a few minutes, a few seconds, and that will press the brake and you'll be able to move it. Once you press the white piece on the side, that release the brake and as you see it went in once you got the brake back in place go ahead and put the transmission where it goes and install the three screws that holds the transmission in place Again, I try to fast forward it. That way the video is not boring and we'll be finished quicker. Before I forget guys, if you, if this video helped you in any way, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we appreciate everyone for give us a good support in this channel. Go ahead and tighten all three screws, and try not to over tighten it, you don't have to put a lot of torque on it. As you see right now, I put this in slow motion, I'm spinning the coupling just to look for the right position of the pump because that pump has a slack there where it need to fit in so just spin the the coupling that way the motor tip goes around into the um joint pump falls in place now we're going to go ahead and put the two clamps for the water pump again if you guys want to see how this how this repair is without the cabinet go ahead and check my other video when i'm replacing a coupling which i'm gonna leave it on the description of this video and you see right here in this footage that i'm gonna play that's how it looks on my channel in case you go to my channel and search for it At this point, we almost done. We're just gonna go ahead and put the washer where it goes. And we're gonna go ahead and install the agitator back and also the other parts. You're gonna go ahead and put this white piece that goes on the bottom of the shaft and this a metal clamp now we're gonna go ahead and put the agitator and screw it in place again hold the bottom piece once you remove it and hold it when you put it back on as you see right there go ahead and put the dust cap Make sure it clips in place and put the uh, softener compartment. At this point, we're pretty much done. Now it's already spinning and everything is working fine. Thanks for watching.